For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in the color Rosy Cheeks. I'm also going to be using a 5mm crochet hook. There will be a little bit of crocheting in this project, but not overly much. You also might want to get a styrofoam head. It's very useful in this project. It's not necessary, but it helps. And a little bit of waist yarn. I'm going to be using my Atta King, which has 46 pins. And you're going to want to crank to the first black pin and then of course reset your counter to zero before you get started. I'm doing the entire hat in this color so I'm going to cast on using my rosy cheeks color. And then of course once you cast on put it in your yarn guide and get to cranking. So I am giving you a chart of two different sizes. You are welcome to make the size of your choice and then I'll meet you back. So now that I've got my 67 rows, I'm going to cut my yarn and put it in the middle and then I'm going to add my waist yarn. And now I'm going to do five rows of waist yarn. It doesn't matter what size you make, you want to do at least five. Now you're just going to cut your yarn and cast off. So I've stretched my tube and I'm going to measure it for you. And mine is measuring about 14 inches in length. I made the adult size. And then we're going to begin at the end with the waist yarn. You are going to need your crochet hook for this, and we are going to be adding a round of single crochet to pick up these stitches. If you're new to crochet, don't freak out, it's not that hard. So find those tails, and we're going to start in this stitch right here. So the first thing you're going to do is make your slip knot. And I like to put my hook in the stitch and then add the slip knot to my hook. So now we're going to pull through that first stitch and chain one. And now we're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch around. And you want to kind of work a little loosely. You don't want to be too tight with this because it may not fit properly. So I'm just going to go through and pick up each of these stitches with my crochet hook making one single crochet. Make sure that the right side of your stitches are facing you as far as the knitted tube. So in other words don't be doing it from the opposite direction. It won't make a huge difference but you want it to curl up the right way. So just continue making single crochet all the way around. So here I'm at the last stitch of the round. I'm going to go ahead and make a single crochet in it and then I'm going to slip stitch in the first single crochet I made of the round. Now I'm going to cut my yarn and fasten off which just means you chain one and pull it all the way through. And now we can safely remove our waist yarn. So now I'm going to thread my yarn needle and weave it downward towards that loose tail right there. And the reason is is because that's what's holding the last stitch of the row on and so I want to catch that and then knot it so it doesn't have a chance of coming loose. And then once you've done that you're going to weave in your tails. Now I, I will say it is a little hard to weave in your tails with this tube. But it's not going to matter if it looks a little bad because we're going to actually kind of hide this area. So now you're going to grab the tail of where you cast on and cinch the tube shut. And then I'm going to thread my yarn needle onto this tail and leave yourself a small hole of about a pinky size there for this project. And then reinforce your stitches. So we are going to eventually close this all the way, but we're not going to close it all the way yet. So keep your finger in there as you reinforce your stitches and then don't close it all the way. 
Leave yourself just a little bitty hole there. And we're going to stop because we're going to use this tail for sewing purposes. We're not going to knot it off or anything like that. We're just going to come back to it. So grab your head form if you have one, and I highly recommend you use it. And we are going to assemble the hat. Now, the basic idea is that we cinch until the top of the hat is actually forward. And then the back of the hat will actually be the top of the hat because of the way it stretches. So stretch it out real good and then put it on your head form. So you want this hole to be forward and the area where you weaved in your tails, you want it to be in the front because we're gonna hide it right here. So this is the basic idea. We are cinching this area together to create this sort of turban look. So you're gonna want to fiddle around with it. I didn't put it all on camera because I didn't want to bore you to death, but you're gonna want to manipulate it to how you want it to look. And then you're gonna take this tail that we left ourselves. I should have left myself a little bit longer of a tail. And we're gonna sew through these layers gently. Now I say gently because you may not like it at first. So make sure you get it how you want it before you make it permanent. And also I want to warn you that you really want this back area to cover the back side of the head. So make sure that you have it how you need it. So once you get it how you want it, you're going to take this tail and sew through all layers, not a whole lot, just a few times. We just want to kind of tack it in place until we actually make it more permanent. Make sure you're not going through your head form if you have a knitted head form like I do. All right, now we're just gonna leave that tail because like I said, we're just kind of tacking it in place until we get it how we want it. So at this point, you can do several things. You have several options. You can wrap a piece of yarn around that center part to hold it together. It's about an inch wide, so if you have like a piece of ribbon or anything like that, you just wanna go around it a bunch of times until it's an inch wide. I mean, something like that would look really pretty. Or you could just take the same color yarn and wrap it a bunch of times nicely until it's an inch wide. But for me, I want to crochet a, a small strip of fabric to put there. So what I'm going to do is measure about how long I want it to be. So I'm taking my measuring tape through here. Now it may be different for you depending on how you bunched up your hat, so definitely measure this. And see how, where it meets. For me, that's three inches. So I'm going to make my crochet strip an inch wide and three inches long. So here I am showing you that it's going to be an inch wide. So I chained five here. And you're gonna turn and single crochet in the second chain from your hook and in each stitch across. So of course that would be four single crochet since you skipped the first stitch. And now you just chain one and turn. We're working in the row here if you're not super familiar with crochet. So you're just going to continue making rows of single crochet. And by the way, you don't wanna to crochet too loosely. I'm using a 4.25 millimeter hook, and that is because I know I can make smaller stitches. So you're just going to continue doing this until it reaches the length that you got when you put your measuring tape through there. So for me, that's three inches. And I'm going to show you here that my piece is about an inch wide here. So just keep doing that, and I'll meet you back here. 
So here's my strip of fabric that I crocheted. It's an inch wide and three inches long, and I am going to fasten off, leaving myself a long strand, and I'm gonna use that for sewing purposes. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and attach this strip through the center here. So I'm gonna thread my yarn needle and gently take my hat, since I just tacked it, off of the head form, and then feed this strip through that hole that we left ourselves at the top. Right here. So go through the hole and then make your ends meet. So here I have everything to the inside of the hat. I've got my four single crochet meeting each other and now I'm just simply gonna whip stitch. Nothing fancy. And if you'll notice, my strip is just barely long enough. You don't want it to be too big because then it's just gonna get bulky. So in order for this to do its job, it needs to be just the right length, so pretty snug. And then once you get that whip stitched on there, you're just going to secure it. So here I am going to knot it with the other end of my crochet strip and then I'm going to weave these tails in. Now I am going to wait to cut them because I might use them. So we still have this hole at the top to contend with, okay, the hole that we left ourselves. We don't want that there. So I'm going to thread the needle onto the strand at the very beginning that we used to tack. This is actually the end where I cinched it, okay? So this is the same tail that we cast on with. And I'm going to take it back through the stitches to reinforce them closed. So I am going through the top of the stitches where we cast on one more time so that I can try and cinch this hole all the way shut. So here I'm trying to pull it closed and there's still an itty bitty hole. I don't want that hole there at all. So I'm gonna go through it one more time. All right, so here I am cinching it all the way shut. It's completely gone, so I'm happy. Now I'm going to thread this tail underneath. I'm going to kind of sort of weave it up to those other tails so that I can knot it off. So then you're gonna weave in your tails and this is what your piece should look like. So you're gonna to wanna to stretch it out. I mean, it's gonna fit a wide range of heads because it's just a single layer hat, which is actually really nice because it's sort of like a one size fits all. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And this is what it should look like. And you are done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching.